So the end of the month has rolled around once again, and you've paid all your bills this month. And for some reason, you got an extra $50 left. What do you do with that money? Do you put it in the bank? Do you put it into the savings account? Or do you go and shop for some emergency supply food at Walmart and get everything you see here for less than 50 bucks? Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how. Okay, so you got that 50 bucks. Now it's burning a hole in your pocket or you put it in a bank. So you decided I'm gonna go to Walmart. Well, I went to Walmart this week and I put a budget of $50 and this is what I did purchase. Everything was available in the stores. The stores are pretty well stocked, which was nice to see for a change. Um, so let's start going over some of the stuff that I got for under $50. To be exact, I spent $49.61 on the products that you see here. Now you're gonna notice right up front, I got some soups, okay? I got uh, a couple cans of cream of mushroom and a cream of broccoli. Now that's because you can go and make all different types of meals. You can get really creative, okay? So there's three cans of Campbell's soup. There's a 10 pound bag of white rice, okay? Right up front, we got some green beans. I got four cans of green beans. I got four cans of whole potatoes, and these are really good. The only thing that I do, I'll give you a little tip, is I rinse them, I pull them in a strainer, and I rinse them really well before I use them however I'm going to. Um, I got four cans of the slice potatoes, all right? These are great for frying. Just rinse them off, let them sit there and strain for a few minutes, and uh, throw them in the frying pan, fry these up, and oh, they're delicious. A little salt and pepper, and that's all you need, okay? Then we also got, uh, I got uh, three cans of peas, all right? Over here, I got four cans of corn. I got two cans of carrots. It's like a maze. The table's pretty little. Two cans of mushrooms. As you can see here, I got two things of spaghetti, one thing of shells. I got a thing of applesauce. All right, now let's get back here to some of the, the, the other sauces and then we're gonna get into the meats. I got a can of sauce, a big can, the 28 ounce, and a can of crushed tomatoes. Put that down so you can see, all right. <clears throat> and then I picked up two cans of fully cooked roast beef, four cans of the white premium chicken breast, all right, and this is the, the, the big cans. Um, it comes in a two pack, uh, the 12.5 ounce cans, and eight total cans of Starkus tuna fish. And also a two pack of Spam. Now, yes, I know a lot of you do not like Spam and don't like when I mention Spam and everything else, but in a emergency food situation, um, it's something that now just to clarify something here I am not talking about eating this stuff constantly always out of a can and never introducing or eating fresh vegetables or fresh meat from the butcher or from your farmers market or anything like this this is strictly what I am talking about is for an emergency situation that everyone should have on hand in case something really drastic happens and you don't have the availability to get out and get to your farmer's market or to the fresh butcher and anything else and this way here you have food to survive so remember this is your emergency supplies got it and uh, give you something good to eat um, some people may not to consider it good <laughs> but it gives you something to eat. You can fry it up. I wouldn't eat it cold out of the can, but you can fry it up and you'd be good to go. Now let's talk about a little bit about some of these recipes, okay? Because you see all this stuff here and a lot of people are like, well, 
okay, what do I do with all that? All right, potatoes are pretty self-explanatory, all right? You can take those, you can mash them up, um, you can just eat them whole, um, warm them up, whatever you need to do. You can make uh, mashed potatoes, fried potatoes, a um, little salt and pepper, which everybody should have in your cupboards, and you're pretty much good to go. If you do have some butter or milk, depending on what your situation and your emergency situation is, um, you could add those to that and make your mashed potatoes. Now with your vegetables and everything else and going into with your rice and your pastas and shells, um, you basically the sky is a limit here because you can come up with some really good dishes between like with the, you can take the chicken with the rice, you can cook the rice, add the chicken to it with a little bit of cream of mushroom soup or cream of broccoli, your preference. You could add and then you could put in if you wanted a vegetable as far as you could put green beans or peas or corn or do those on the side. So there's a meal for you. Um, with your pasta, you could also use your chicken or your tuna fish. You know, you could make like a um, tuna casserole. So you could take a box of shells or um, add your tuna fish, throw in a can of peas or green beans, whatever your preference is, and you got a, a meal right there. You mix it all together. If you have some way to bake it, that's fine. If not, if you only have, say, like a Coleman stove, like the video I just did, you could put it in a pot, heat it all up together, and you got something hot to eat. Uh, your rice, there's so many different things you can do with your rice. Um, you could take your rice and, you know, you can make just your rice and have that with, say, some roast beef, or you could take and just fry up some uh, Spam and slice it so you could have some rice and with Spam with a vegetable of your choice. Uh, another dish that you could do with the roast beef is um, with the shells or spaghetti, you could do, take and have your sauce um, so you have a little bit of meat in it. If you want to use the chicken, you could do that also. You could use the beef and add maybe some mushrooms to it, a little can of mushrooms, and mix it all together with, say, some shells, and you have another meal. So basically, you just get creative. You have to get creative in an emergency situation to make sure that you have something to eat. And for less than $50, you know, there's um, there's 40 items on this table for less than 50 bucks. So if once a month you have an extra $50, go to the store, you can really catch some really good deals. Maybe watch some of your flyers or your local stores and see what they have on sale. Maybe you want to do it weekly. Spend $10 a week, you know, $40 a month. You might get a lot of great deals. Like I always say, people, watch for the buy one, get one, because that's just a give me. You know, you buy one, one goes into the your emergency supply or your pantry, and then the other one you use for your regular day. So, you know, if it's, if the roast beef was buy one, get one, I'm going to put this can into the uh, pantry, and the other one goes into my emergency supplies. You know, the sky is the limit here, and you just want to make sure that... Um, you're trying to do something to prepare for an emergency situation and for things that may be coming down the pike. Now, with that said, you have to get creative. You may want to write out a few recipes or you may already have some of your recipes that you make all the time for you and your family. You know, make sure you have those things on stock so it's something that you will eat. Um, I've done videos on this before. Um, I just did a, I'm doing this video just to show you what you can get for less than $50 that I got this week when I went to Walmart and you know it's very easy to do it's uh, and it can be a lifesaver so with that being said my name is Charles this is survival preparedness for beginners and this was my $50 haul this week at Walmart and I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows it is possible to be prepared for you and your family in an emergency situation. So until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.